Hey, what's up everyone and welcome. Oh, I'm just going to say it. Box Art Reviews is over. It is cancelled once again. It is never coming back. It is done. It is over. I'm never reviewing another box art again because I'm not liking how this show is going and no one else watches it. And I am done. Cancelled. Over. Done with. Not doing another box art ever again. So let's go on to our first box art for episode 24, which is... Dead Island, who do you voodoo, bitch? Game of the Year edition. Yeah, that's right. Dead Island was so good. Everybody gave a Game of the Year, and now there's a Game of the Year edition. Aren't you happy? But to be honest, no one gave a Game of the Year, so I don't know why there's a Game of the Year edition, but that's besides the point. And I don't really get what happened with this box art because it looks exactly the same as Dead Island from 2011's box art. It looks exactly the same, except here you have Game of the Year edition above the Dead Island logo, the words Game of the Year edition, and then you, it says like on the left, oh, three DLCs and stuff that you'll never play or want to play because I heard they all sucked. So besides that, it's the exact same box art as the original, but I never reviewed the original box art, so you know what? Let's review it. I actually really like the way this box art is put together. It has a very moody feel to it, the way the colors are, the way the background is. I actually really like how it's tinted, it's very dark and stuff. I don't know, it, it has a very div it has a very good mood to it, even though the game itself, to be honest, isn't very scary. I also really like the art design that went to the zombies. I think they look really, really cool, especially the front guy. He looks very, like, he looks pretty damn pissed. He looks pretty demonic, so I might want to watch out for that guy. So, to be honest... Just to make it quick, I would say this. The Game of the Year edition doesn't look any different from the original, but the original itself actually looked pretty decent in my opinion, so I'm going to give this box art a 6 out of 10. Let's go on to our next box art, which is Spec Ops The Line, which at first you look at this and you will go, damn, that is so generic. You have a soldier just standing there staring off into the distance, just like Modern Warfare 3 or Battlefield 3's cover, and you're like, wow, that's so generic. But then you scan your eyes down, and it looks kind of cool. I mean, you can see the three main characters inside this dude's, it looks like around his nutsack region, and you can see the three dudes in there, you can see some of the destruction of the desert city that you'll be roaming around in in the game, uh, in the dude's stomach it looks like it looks kind of cool the way it is and i also like how the soldier dude is like starting to deteriorate into sand on the bottom i don't know it's a cool little effect and they took a very generic looking box art and they made it somewhat cool looking i mean it's still very generic but at least they did something decent with it so i'm gonna give this box art i'm gonna give it a six out of ten as well just like dead island so let's go on to our next one which is America! London 2012 for the Xbox 360 Connect and holy crap does this box art look horrible. First of all you have four people on there. It's obviously just people. It's not like they designed these guys. Uh, first of all you have the two dudes. You got one that says USA clearly on the front of his shirt and the other one you have holding the American flag just looking off into the distance as many people do especially Americans. Uh, I, I would know I am American. Um, and you have that stretchy bitch on the left and then you got that flying bitch that's about to hit the Ed Ed and Eddie jawbreaker uh, out of the sky and I gotta admit uh, it's kind of ridiculous especially when you look on the bottom and you see America taller than London pretty much it's saying L USA is about to take over London it looks like uh okay well y yay USA 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 Ura. I don't know <laughs> I don't know what to say I mean first of all it's just a terrible boxer and I just I, I don't get it it's called London 2012 and it's just pretty much saying USA is dominant screw London screw British people screw England screw friggin the Eiffel Tower and all well that's in France but screw everything <laughs> So yeah, this is a terrible, terrible box art, and I'm just going to give it a 3 out of a 10, just because it made me laugh, and it's very patriotic. USA, USA, yay, yay, yay. So let's go on to our next box art, which is... Oh, okay. Um, Record of Agoras War 2. What did I get myself into? Okay. I never played the first one, obviously. You could tell by the box art of the second one that I never played the first one, if you know me enough <laughs> um and it, this box art doesn't make me want to play the second one i could tell you that or the first one especially since the first one i had a chick eating a corn dog it made it look like she was eating a dick so i'm definitely not going to play that one i mean i've heard of the first one just never played it so i'll say this about the second game's box art 
the art design is nice. Uh, the use of colors is good. I mean, it's very nice looking color wise. Uh, the backgrounds look really, really good. It definitely does, especially with the stars and the way uh, the clouds look in the top left. It looks nice. And my main thing that I just hate about these box arts is that they're all exactly the same. I mean, sure, the colors are nice, whatever, the designs are okay, but the characters themselves just look so generic. And if you've seen any other JRPG box arts, then you've seen this one because it's so, so, so similar to every other one. And also, it's weird to me how some guys actually think women like this look hot. I mean, first of all, they, they don't even look like women. They look like underage girls, and that's even stranger to me. And they, they just look so generic as well. I mean, you could look at one of these uh, characters and go to another JRPG, and you'll probably see the same exact model as that one. And it'll look exactly the same, and I don't get it. I don't know. I just, I just don't like these box arts. So I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 10, only because of, oh, pretty colors. Uh, uh, let's go on to the next box art. The Amazing Spider-Man based on the brand new reboot of the Spider-Man saga and I have to admit I'm looking forward to this game and the movie about equal because this game looks absolutely fantastic and the game looks amazing, I mean the movie looks amazing too. But even though I'm really looking forward to this game, the box art itself, it looks good, don't get me wrong. I really like the costume, the costume design, the new way it looks, I really am a big fan of. But just like Brave the video game looked last week, it just looks like they took a picture of the movie, they cut the background out, put the character in there, and then made a new background just for the game. And I think that's just lazy in my opinion. And what they added in the background doesn't even look as good as Brave did last week. I mean, it's just the city, and it doesn't look all that amazing. It just looks like a bunch of buildings, and that's about it. But I am a big fan of the way the new costume looks. I like how it has the web shooters. I like the new designs on where the blue and the red is, whatever. I'm not going to go through all that costume design shit, but I'm going to say this. I like the costume and most of the box art is just the costume of Spider-Man. So I'm gonna give this I'm gonna give this box art a 5.5 out of 10. They could have did more, but what they did was okay. And there you go, there was box art reviews number 24. Don't get me wrong, this show is definitely canceled. It's over. Ratings were low, box office wasn't good, John Carter made more money than us, which is terrible. I mean, John Carter just didn't make money at all. So I mean we 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 just didn't make any money. So no more box art reviews. So anyway, I'll see you next week for the next box art reviews. Thank you and goodbye.